Howdy folks, and welcome back to another weekend recipe here. This is Cooking with Mary Sue. I hope everybody hits that like and subscribe button and share this with your friends. And I do have been watching my other channel called Suzy Q Knickknacks Reseller. On that channel, I show items that I buy at thrift stores to resell on my eBay store. And my husband has his, has his channel called Brother Claude Reflects. Now back to our recipe. We're going to cook a simple little, well, this could be a side dish, or it could be your main meal. I like one pot recipes or one dish casseroles. And I'm going to be using my little Christmas bowl here. It's getting close to Christmas. I like to use this during the Christmas season. I actually like to use it all year long. <laughs> okay, we're going to start off with, these are just a bag of, these are not frozen now. These are a bag of Simply Potatoes Shredded Hash Browns. These are made from fresh potatoes. They're not frozen. You can buy these at the store. They're usually over where the canned biscuits and the eggs are kept. And uh, let me see. What I need for it. Let me open this. Dump them in here. Get a little spoon out. Okay. That's all of them. That's the whole bag. They're already fresh. They're already thawed out. Alright. Now I have a fourth a cup of diced onions. Okay. I actually have these already cut up in my freezer. I keep some of these cut up ahead of time. Uh, bell pepper and onion and celery. But today I will need some onion. About a fourth a cup. This is a half a cup of stick of butter. I'm going to melt in the microwave for a few seconds. takes about 20-25 seconds. Meanwhile, this is a can of cream of chicken soup. Any brand doesn't matter. I'm not really big on name brands, really. I like to just go in and get what else on sale that week, what brands on sale, store brand. I don't really, I'm not that picky on most things. If you ask my husband, he'll tell you I am picky on one thing, and that's peanut butter. I am very picky on my peanut butter. I grew up in a time back when, uh, if you're my age, you might remember some commercials that talked about choosy moms choose Jif. Well, my mom was one of those choosy moms. She wouldn't buy anything but Jif. Even sometimes if uh, her budget was kind of low that week on groceries, she didn't have much to spend. If Jif wasn't on sale, she wouldn't buy any peanut butter. She just waited till it went on sale. <laughs> okay. Now, and to this day, I still just buy Jif. can of cream of chicken soup. Alright, let's see if my butter is ready. Oh, oh yeah, it's ready. There's a half a stick of melted butter. Okay, I'm going to stir this just a little bit up. Because i got to add a few more things to it. I kind of like to add each ingredient and stir it as I go. Okay. That didn't take long to stir. Okay. Next is 3 fourths cup of sour cream. Put all this in. It's like I never can get it all out of there when I put it in there. Okay. That's all for that. I'm going to stir the sour cream up. Well, that's hash browns, sour cream, butter. We got just a few more ingredients to go. Let me see. Okay. Next, I'm going to add a little bit of chicken. What I have here is, this is one chicken breast, it's raw, one chicken breast, and it's boneless skinless. Whenever I have to use chicken in a recipe, I almost always try to use boneless skinless. It just cuts down on the work and the mess. I hate to debone chicken. Almost as much as I hate to try to make a homemade pie from scratch, a pie shell, which I can't do that either. But, I take a shortcut and use boneless skinless. It's also another quick shortcut, even better than this sometimes. 
Sometimes I will just use a little can of ch chicken breast. This is already fully cooked if you buy it in a can. And you can usually buy it with a tuna soda. That comes in handy for all kinds of little recipes. But right now I'm just using the, the boneless chicken breast here. Okay, just dump it in. It's already diced up. Boneless skinless chicken is a, a little bit more per pound, a little more costly. So I always catch it when it's on sale. I buy usually the big family pack. And that has about six to eight pieces breast in it. And I'll take each one out and freeze each one in a separate baggie. That way if I want just one out for recipe, I just pick, pick up that one. And it's, uh, it's a little bit cheaper if you buy it in family size when it's on sale. And what little more you pay on it per pound, to me that's, that's well worth the effort you save when you're using it in a recipe. Okay. All right. One last ingredient, I believe, is cheese. That is two cups of shredded cheddar. Might get a little bit bigger spoon here. Gonna dump it on top. Just throw all this in until it's all together. This takes a couple minutes. Hey, this is a, a very easy, quick recipe to throw together. Especially when you're using ingredients are easy. The potatoes are already, already cooked. They're not frozen. I did take that chicken breast out of the freezer yesterday. It took about a day to thaw out. But I often just use that little canned chicken. That's just as easy. Need a bigger bowl, but this is this is just right. Okay, make sure it all gets together. That was potatoes, a can of cream of chicken soup, some chicken in it, raw chicken, a little bit of butter, and cheese, and stir until you feel like your arms gonna fall off. <laughs> Okay, Whew. that's about right. Okay. okay. I get all the pieces off my spoon there. Now I'm gonna put this into a two-quart casserole bowl. This have a square, I've got a square eight by eight casserole bowl. This is Anchor Hawking. I also have one that's Pyrex. They both come in handy. Take my lid off here. I'm going to spray it with my butter flavored cooking spray all around. Spray it on the sides. There. It's well coated with the butter spray. Now, we're just going to dump this in here. Not making much of a mess, I hope. Okay. I usually like to rake it out with a spatula, a cake spatula. That gets all the sides out good. Okay. Get all that out. All my cheese out. All my pieces. I don't want to leave any chicken behind or. Okay. Whew. I filled that up pretty big. We're going to squish it around, flatten it out, push it in all the corners. This fills up this bowl just perfect. Okay. Alright. Okay. Now, looks like we're done, but we're not. Got one more step to do. We're going to put a topping on this. I have in here one and a half cup of breadcrumbs. I just buy them in the can here already crumbled up. It's plain breadcrumbs. I'm not using the Italian flavor this time. Sometimes I use the Italian for other dishes, but this I'm just using the plain. Plain breadcrumbs. 
that's a cup and a half. Give me a little fork here. And over here, mixed with that, this is a stick and a half of butter in here. I'm going to melt this, stick and a half. Then we're going to pour it in here and mix it all together for breadcrumbs. Okay. Let me show you my little Christmas bowl here. My little Santa Claus, no, snowman. Snowman mixing bowl. I have a set of three of these. They nest in each other, three sizes. The three piece set nesting bowls for Christmas. I am going to be putting these on sale uh, in my eBay store pretty soon. I'm going to list them and sell them. But I want everybody to see it first before I sell them. I will probably show this in my next reselling video also. Yep. Alright, that just went off. Mm. Okay. A little bit hot. Not much, but just enough. Okay. There. Okay. Now I'm just going to stir this. Break crumbs and butter together. It takes a couple of seconds to mix it. It mixes pretty fast. So it's a half, one and a half cup of bread crumbs with, what did I say, one stick of butter? No, stick and a half of butter, yeah. Stick and a half of butter is what it takes. Going to get all these breadcrumbs kind of gooey. And this is going to be the topping on top of this. So when it comes out, cooked, it's going to be golden brown and crunchy on top. We're going to have potatoes and chicken and cheese down in the middle. It's going to be a nice little casserole. I say it could be a side dish or a party or it could be your main dish. It could be your entree. Okay. That is good enough. Now, here we go. Going to dump this all on top and spread it around. It's just enough to cover all of this perfectly. Going to cover your casserole from one corner to the other. Going to kind of cover up all this little white part. You want to even see the casserole time to get all this around here, spread around. Mash it down firm. Okay, a little bit more. This cup and a half makes quite a bit of topping. Think makes a lot of topping, but it's just enough to cover all this. If we ever get back to having socials at church, I'll have to make this and take it to church one day. more here. There. That's all of that. Okay. See? Now it's all got the topping on top of it. This is going to cook in the oven on, I've got it on 400, let it cook for about 45 minutes to an hour. So this gets all golden brown on top. And like usual, before I put it in the oven, I like to put it on a baking sheet. This is just an old piece of pan I use for, just for this reason, for baking. Just in case it runs over, it won't make a mess in the oven. I'll put that in a minute. And here's, here's the outcome. Now see this one, I made this one about, it's still warm. I took it out of the oven about 45 minutes ago. It's still warm. It's nice golden brown. <laughs> that is going to be delicious. We'll have to have some for supper at night. Yep. That's it for this week. That's another recipe down. And I'll be thinking of something new for next weekend. Leave some comments. Let me know if you tried anything, you like it. Give me some ideas for new recipes. Y'all have a good week. God bless. See you later. Bye.